What's up everybody, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel guys. Today, we're going to go over the Apex Legends Season 8 patch notes and all the changes that are going to come with it, man. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you guys are new here and want to improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start down by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Now let's get right into the patch notes. All right, so EA dropped this today. I thought we were going to get it a lot earlier, but we didn't, so we got it today. So we're going to just hop right into this and go over this right now. So Apex Legends Season 8 Mayhem Patch Notes. Get ready for the mayhem. This is going to be insane. We can, you could can join the uh, dev stream that's going to be coming for Season 8 if you want. We got the trailer, of course, and then the new Legend Fuse. Everybody knows about Fuse. Uh Meet Fuse, he's a mercenary, he gives a little bit more of a backstory with his uh, big, huge Wally grenade launcher. And it kind of breaks down what his abilities are with his passive, tactical, and ultimate. The mother load, knuckle cluster, and grenader. So he can stack an extra grenade per slot, fire grenades farther, faster, and more accurately. Launches a cluster bomb that continuously expels airburst explosives on impact. It still doesn't say, and I made a video about this, you can click the link above, guys, breaking down uh, his abilities. I still don't know. Obviously, it's going to do some damage, but I don't know if you're going to have a stun effect or if you're going to have a, a blurry vision effect. You know, whatever it is that's in addition. Maybe it just does damage. I'm not sure. And then, of course, the, uh, the ultimate low, low launch of bombardment that encircles a target area in a wall of flames, which is going to be nuts. You can check out that trailer right there. Um, so his abilities are going to be really, really cool. I can't, I'm excited to check them out tomorrow. But let's scroll down and see what else we got. The new 3030 repeater. So we, we know about this repeater. We don't know how much, you know, like what, what it was going to do. We didn't have a whole lot of information about it from the trailers. But now we have everything that we need to know about it. This is a heavy ammo level or lever action repeater boost hard hitting rounds that nail a fleeting mirage at 200 paces. The 30 for 30 is a benchmark of rea a reliability designed to withstand whipping sandstorms and temporal instability. It's made, uh, it's an obvious choice for the Apex games. So as you guys saw, it is a heavy weapon it's a heaven or a heavy uh sniper using you know heavy rounds which is going to be kind of cool man uh we really haven't had one of these since they took the longbow from the heavy you know class and made it a, an actual sniper so i'm really curious about this so it requires you to rechamber rounds between shots which brings a, a methodic rhythm to the rifle so the further attempt is to itchy trigger fingers. The 3030 has a built-in charge, giving players an opportunity to deal increased damage with each shot with a short buildup. So you shoot one bullet at a time, and you can kind of, with a short buildup, you can do increased damage. So it's kind of, that right there to me, guys, sounds like it's going to be a lot better than the Sentinel. The Sentinel, you use a, you know, a shield cell to charge it up to do additional damage, but this just sounds like you can charge it up for free and do some damage to this or have increased damage now how much of an increase of damage is it i'm not sure but it sounds like it's going to be an easier way to shoot a weapon besides the sentinel uh the 30 for 30 reloads one ant one round at a time which makes for some interesting resource management you find anywhere else even on the massive so you reload one at a time you can charge it up to shoot and requires you to rechamber the rounds between shots so it's like bolt action kind of so that's interesting. The 30 for 30 in uh, engagement range. You unique opportunities to reload individual rounds between shots. This gives the repeater the ability to lay down consistent precision range pressure. Something weapons with full reloads can sometimes struggle with. Not really when you think about like guns like the Hemlock and the G7 Scout. I mean, you can, with the right mags, obviously you can just consistently lay down pressure. I guess this is kind of bridging the gap between, hey, you have to do a full reload and then a one reload at a time, shoot, one reload at a time, shoot, re one reload at a time, shoot, you know, kind of deal. Uh, it's interesting. If the damage is there, then it'll be worth it. But otherwise, uh, I could see this just being stuck behind the Hemlock and the the Hemlock and the, uh, the G7 Scout. So we'll see. Kings Canyon map update. Love it. Okay, we saw all the changes in the uh, trailer above. I'll link that again, guys. But uh, with the new main points of interest, we got the uh, armories, which are going to be sweet. You got all the new POIs that are going to be here all the way through uh, artillery, wrapping all the way to slum. So it looks like it's just a big, huge area that extends there. I talked about that in my video. I hope that it's, it's a large enough area because if it's just a small little area back here, then 
I don't know. I don't think it's going to change a whole lot, but more players are going to go here because the north uh, part of the map is the most dropped or most, you know, battled out area according to respawn. So hopefully this is a large enough area to kind of spread things out a bit. All right, let's go down to the legendary magazines. Now, there's been a couple of videos out there um, that have kind of explained exactly what this is, but it looks like when you attach it to a weapon, it automatically reloads it when you're not, when you have it stowed or when you have it put away. So, um, shout out to Staycation. He did a great video about this with Crypto. You know, Crypto's drone goes out. If you shoot a couple bullets and you pull out Crypto's drone, it automatically reloads your weapon for you. And that's the same process, but it's just going to be inside your holster instead. So, um, the gold magazine has the same capacity as purple and is available for light, heavy snipers and energy weapons. So what this is going to do is depending on the gun and the mag size of, of whatever the weapon would be, like a Spitfire is going to take longer to reload, even holster than, let's say, a P2020, for example, because the ammo counts are just way different, right? 55 rounds to what? 18 or something like that for the P2020. So obviously that one's going to reload a whole lot faster. But this is going to be interesting. Uh... Now, with this, they are, uh, it's just going to be real interesting, man. It's just going to be interesting to see what the gold bags do, you know? Uh, it's going to make, it's going to make close quarter combat really crazy, really crazy, you know, because you're just going to be swapping weapons constantly. So we're going to see how this is going to change the close range combat. All right. So quality of life updates. This is what I'm most curious about. Damage counter, guys. We're all excited about this. So in your HUD, top right hand corner, you're going to be able to see your damage counter to see how much damage output you're putting out there. Uh, you know, throughout the game, which is something they probably could have added many, many seasons ago. Um, but I, you know, at the same time, I kind of like the cliffhanger about, uh, you know, God, I, I got to be close to 4K or 5K or whatever it is. But at least now you can kind of tell. So it's going to make 4K badges, you know, a little bit uh, easier to attain in a sense. Because people are going to be like, yo, I'm only 500 away. Let me, you know, rain down some fire on these guys. Don't shoot them, etc. So love the damage counter. You can ping ammo now, and it, it displays your current ammo amount with uh, what you want in quick chat. Uh, I don't know how good this is going to be because, really, you just, hey, I need light ammo, and somebody drops you a stack. So, I mean, but that's cool, though. Colorblind mode. Healing and reviving will now follow colorblind modes if you're there enabled. Cool. Lore blurbs on cannon skins. Some of our skins are cannon, and some are just for fun. For the skins that represent an important part of the character's backstory, we've added a small blurb. To describe the, signif the significance of the skins in the Legend's Life. Oh, that's cool. So you can kind of see, like, what skins were used throughout their entire story. That's neat. Okay, guys. Legend meta. The big the big boom of the, of the patch notes. Wraith's hitbox adjustment has been increased. Can you believe it? They're slowly, slowly, season by season... Trying to make her not the best legend in the game when she is. Okay, let's see what the dev notes have to say. We all know that Wraith will be always be a popular pick considering the amount of combat utility in her kit. After many tweaks to her abilities and animations, yeah, no shit. The fact that the fact remains that her win rate continues to be at the top since day one. Yeah, because she's the best legend in the game, Respawn. Why would you try to nuke her? With season 7's hitbox adjustments to Pathfinder. We were able to control his power without nerfing his kit. We hope to do the same with Wraith. Okay. So they're saying because they increased Pathfinder's hitbox that he hasn't been quite as powerful. Really, I don't think his hitbox was the problem. I think his grapple was the problem. His grapple was too OP. So they nerfed the grapple into the ground and now they've balanced it. But in doing so and balancing it, they've increased the hitbox. I mean, Pathfinder is pretty balanced, but I don't think it was due to his hitbox. I think it was due to his grapple ability. Wraith now has a slightly larger hitbox than her fellow small legends, but the changes to her stay true to her model, as you can see the before and after. We're adding some mostly in the torso and legs area. So, so she doesn't have the smallest hitbox in the game anymore, is what they're saying, because it's larger hitbox than her fellow small legends. So she doesn't have the smallest hitbox in the game anymore. Even with these changes, Wraith remains small and hard to hit. She will retain low profile, which is good, uh, as they monitor her usage and win rates to see if the power can be given back in the ways in the future. Okay. Well, guys, Wraith mains. This is going to be interesting. We're going to see how much this affects the game. 
I don't think... Like, I don't think that this change needed to happen. The big change in her kit last season made her way different to use. She was a little bit easier to kill because she didn't have her get-out-of-jail-free card. I think that balanced enough. Her hitbox was fine. But if they if Respawn feels like they want to balance the Legend meta, like, as, uh, uh, like with pick rate and win rate, I guess this is the way to do it. But I'm sorry, but there is Legends that are just better than other Legends. Like, since they've been coming out with Legends, the only ones that have made an impact are Horizon, which we're going to get into in a second, and Watson. All the other ones have fell short. Revenant fell short. Crypto fell short. Rampart fell short. Loba definitely fell short. Like, all these Legends didn't do anything. Like, they just didn't have an impact on the game. They're all at the bottom of pick rate and win rate, especially Rampart. She has the worst pick rate and win rate in the game. Okay? So now you want to nerf some of your best legends and most pick select, picked legends to what balance it out it's kind of like how respawn did a couple seasons ago in season six they gave a buff to the spitfire headshot multiplier and then this season they increased the floor spawn rate of the spitfire so more players would use it because it was one of the least used guns in the game so they're they're trying to force players to use this gun or that gun or hey now that we're gonna nerf these legends you're gonna we're gonna make you pick other legends to use i don't think that's cool and i don't think that wraith needed this hitbox uh to be increased i thought she was fine she's still even with this i believe is still going to be the most picked rate legend and the highest win rate legend still she's the best legend in the game i don't know why they would want to nerf her all right so let's see rampart sheila increased angle from 120 to 180 wall health and build up phase increased from one HP to 45. Again, Rampart. Sorry, Rampart, but exactly. Dev note Rampart has remained among the bottom of cross performance metrics since her release. Yeah, because her kit sucks. There's like there's no way in most situations where you're setting up and people are gonna fall for Sheila. It's just not gonna happen. And the walls, even with the increased HP, they still destroy too quick. Like they just die. But in the, in the game as fast moving as Apex, we determined her wall should have some reactive power as well. Well, 45 HP ain't going to do it. So, Horizon. Oh, my God, my girl, my new main. Gravity lift effective cooldown increased to 25 seconds. The 15-second cooldown timer will now start when gravity lift disappears. Huh. So, they increased gravity lift. Dev note. Horizon released strong to the point where she rivals Wraith in win rate and pick rate. For the time being, we are monitoring her usage and checking whether or not the cooldown changes have a significant effect. Now, bam. These are the kind of legends that they need to release. More legends like this that are going to rival some of the top legends. I'm so happy to see this because we have not had this. Nobody has, like, came out and done what horizons done compared to other legends she has a high win rate and pick rate this is awesome so i hope that this small nerf will help balance her out a little bit the the already increase to how how often she can throw that right now has is already set her back a little but god i love this this is awesome we'll see how this goes octane launch pad remastered many players have known about the super jump is uh well timed by hitting the pad once the double jumps are reduced there was an input clash that led to unreliable usage so hitting the jump pad from a standing position will launch players along a high arc. And then from crouch, they will receive a low arc. Meaning they will fly lower but farther. So they just change super jump. Okay. I thought it was fine. But crypto. Remove the ability to stick arc stars to friendly drones. That makes sense. Loba, loot inside. Unopened care packages now visible with eye of the for quality. Okay. Got all gas now dissipates as soon as cost seems eliminated. Thank you. Thank you. That should always be there. Because right as of right now, it's just his ultimate and not his <clears throat> his ultimate stays and his regular gas traps go away. So this is gonna be nice. Since he his pick rate and stuff has been increased. Mirage decoys create footstep sounds. Oh my god, dude. I love this game, guys, and I'm sorry, Mirage mains, but I absolutely hate Mirage. And they keep changing him every season. 
and try to increase his kit and nobody falls for these bamboozles man good players don't bots do and new players especially now the steam players but nobody falls for these everybody knows who the real one is mirage okay everybody but now i guess there's footsteps that you can hear which make it slightly harder to pick out the the real mirage from audio cues alone well we'll see <clears throat> sorry guys let me grab a drink <clears throat> Okay, let's scroll down here. Uh, fully kitted rotation. So they're taking out Wingman Sentinel, Havoc G7, and an Alternator. They're putting in the R301, the Repeater, Mozambique Longbow, and Spitfire. Well, of course they would put the Spitfire in there. So that's going to be nice. Nice little changeup. Attachments. We are removing the Gold Barrel from the Loot Pool. So they're taking out Gold Barrel, essentially, guys, and they're adding the Gold Magazine. Um, I guess that's fine. Purple is still really good. The difference between purple and gold, I don't, I don't think is very much. So th that should be fun. Double tap is going to be taken out. Thank God, nobody uses double tap. Respawn, put it in the vault and never bring it back again. The anvil rounds. Now this is a good one, man. R three hundred one and flatline single shot firing, guys. We're going to see some increased damage from that. The volt bullet damage decreased from sixteen to fifteen. God dang it. The volt is just too strong, so they had to, they had to reduce it down. But then the alternator got to increase, so that makes that a little bit more viable. Spitfire. Bullet damage increased from 18 to 19. Reload speed increased. Empty reload speed increased. So, man, they have been buffing this gun since Season 6. Increasing the floor rate spawn since Season 6. All in an attempt to make players use this gun more. They even brought out Rampart, which is an LMG legend, to make people use this gun more. Respawn. Nobody likes the Spitfire. Okay? Only bots who can't hit a shot with 55 round mags use it. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to burst your bubble. God, I hate this. This should not be a thing. And then EVA 8, the fire rate increased. Okay, that's good. Since they're taking double tap out, that makes sense. Um, and then you got bug fixes, um, which we're not going to really go over, but Peacekeeper, that's fine. So, guys, patch notes are insane. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Season 8 patch notes coming, especially the changes to Wraith and Horizon. Those are the probably two biggest things coming out of these patch notes. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for more Apex Legends news and tips to improve your gameplay. For me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.